Hi guys, so I'm kind of in the process of watering and I just wanted to share with you some blooms. Um, look at this little cute, cute thing. I just got it at the show. Holy eye. Holy eye. Okay. You can see how little it is. Look at Let's see what else is going on. So here's the Ho Chi Minh that I got. It's opening up nicely. It has a second bud that'll probably be viable and that third bud down there, this one will probably drop off. Here's a little Nivium. Very cute. I've had this plant for a couple years now, I think. That's from Orchid and Lemon. Oops. Well, a bunch of uh, frag little spikes. I'm excited to see this one. The first one dried off. I got it in kind of rough shape, and that looks to be going to be very purple. I'm excited about that. Let's see. My scruples that I just got. What else? Oh. I am so excited, you guys. This is a stony eye. You can see what rough shape it's in. Uh, it got deer attacked. So I got these two wonderful buds coming. They're gonna be opening soon. Yes, stony eye. And if I didn't share that little pink wookie look, look how cute. Here's another one. Look how red that is. I love the side of the flower. And uh, I found out the hard way, guys, that you're not supposed to keep these outside. I get this. Come on, come on, come on. It made a speedy recovery after being a very sad little thing. Okay. Sienna. So, that's that one. I love these rosettes. How full it is. Um, I just repotted that one, so it looks very sad. It's gonna bounce back. I promise. <laughs> Here is my monster fairy animal. Everything's kind of moved around because I was watering. But yeah, it's 40 centimeters. I love the shape. Let's get you. Look at that beautiful thing. So there's this plant. And there's my other fairy in them. You can see the size of leaves compared to the size of the leaves. Very, very big. Um, this is a pretty one. It reminds me of a sunrise. And this is Oh, come on. It's very pretty. Back here, I have a Delnatii. Lovely, lovely pouch. Very pretty. This is a bottom. What is this? Oh shit. I just bought another one of these at the show. Very pretty though. Here is my warty eye. I love warty eye. So pretty. This is a second bloom of uh, Path Psyche. It's a Nivium times Blotulum, I believe. Yeah, Nivium times Blotulum. This one's had some problems though. It has continuously, uh, well, it got eaten by deer. So, um, but after that, it's been having some problems. And I think this guy I gotta give up on. It's, that brought it out. Uh, nope. This is a sequential blooming one, obviously. So, let's see. I think I got this from Windswept in Times. Nikki's Sunny Delight times Path Pinocchio. Very cute. Um, moving on. Let's see. 
I love this thing. Bill didn't like it. It wasn't as flared when he gave it to me, but he said it looks like it has leprosy. <laughs> and if you go to Path Paradise, you can see the, um, the examples that they had and they look more like a cohesive sunset, but I love this. I don't know why. It's like an abstract painting. And then I got this guy. It's cute enough. Oh, it's not that one. This is Quantum Light, I think, yeah. Quantum Light Var Alba. Um, times con color. So, I don't know. We'll see. And the story of this. This one, I'll throw some pictures in at the end, or maybe while I'm talking. Um, it got cold damage, so this is a plant that was going to be for the show. Um, low slum. Yeah, I, I'll have to look up these crosses to see. But, anyways. Not bad. I'm not into the uh, multiflorals. They get pretty big as I say that. <laughs> um, and then let's see what's down here. Oof. This is a cute little thing. I don't know if it's right or if it's mislabeled. Um, it's a very cute thing. It's spotted all the way around. And it has like this little fringed lip that's really hard to get on camera. And that's Enterlite times Orchid Glade. Let's see. And I got Lycasti. I'm going to give Lycastis another go. I love them so much. They're so pretty. But it's got another spike coming. So that's about it. Oh, show you what's this is a, another Ho Chi Minh that I got. It's a uh, Ho Chi Minh Pink March. So, that'll be fun. And then, look at my Hoya starting to take over. Starting to do what I want it to. Got that going. I have all my little Hoya divisions that I got from uh, Sm Bob Smalley's. And here's some more rescue plants that I got. They're actually growing really well. These had some kind of issue with fungus or blackness or whatever. You can see the one plant back there, you can see. But the new growth is pushing off pretty good. And these, I believe, will take several years to even bloom. Let's see. It's, uh, yeah, Joanna Burkhart times Lady Isabel which is a, another large multi-floral <laughs> cross that I say I don't like, but I have. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. I have some, uh, what was that, prickly pear back there growing on that I got from a friend. Oop, it's all stuck together. I gotta go through and organize stuff, but yeah. I just love this cascade in the Hoyas. Doing Hoyas. Doing, do your thing, Hoya. But yeah, so. The stony eye will be kind of similar. It'll be white instead of yellow. It'll have uh, white. But it's so cute. I like. I do like it. Oh, peace to resistance. You know, we've all had that plant that you've had, and it takes forever to bloom. This is a Sunset Valley orchids. I am very excited uh, that it. I've had this for around four years. I do believe. Um, and I have two of them. Uh, the other one still hasn't done anything. It's sitting back there. Um, this one uh, hasn't, they haven't died. They haven't died back. They haven't really done anything um, until this year, early January. Bam. Look at that. I love it. Um, the petals are obviously a little reflexed. It is a first time 
blooming seedling, but the color saturation I am absolutely in love with. So let's bring it down and look at it. So I'm also seeing that I have a new growth right there, so that's good. Oh, yeah. I'm absolutely in love. I love these things. And it just seemed like the natural light kind of picking up some more colors. Excuse the mess. Oh, and all my catacetums are starting to wake up. Yeah, absolutely love. Now, some people aren't a fan of these guys, but I am. They look like little puppy dogs. And I contacted Fred Clark because he's the one that made it and it's not registered. So if I ever get it awarded, we'll see what we can do with it. I don't like the stamina it is. Even fuzzy. Isn't that cute? Look at all those little hairs all in it. Yeah, okay guys. I think I've wasted enough of your time today. <laughs> I know it's not wasting time, but I was just watering and figured I'd share some stuff with you. So, alright family, thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.